Hampton, thanks to Georgia Optics for the G-Shock watch. And also, Head Down gave me a custom-made holster. So they make good products. I can vouch for that. Great products by Head Down Firearms. Now, let's talk about the uh, the big money. Because that was $1,000 to get entered in for the raffle for the firearm. But what <laughs> happens if some person, and then uh, let me be very clear with the disclaimer here. This is for a single individual. This isn't crowdsourced. A single individual who calls in before the money bomb ends 2015 and donates $10,000. What's going to happen, Joe Bix? At this point in time, I am going to let Leanne McAdoo shock me with 800,000 volts. Yes. So it's going to be very intense and interesting. I have always wanted to taste someone. And you, like, you actually seem like pretty pumped to get tased. I'm not, you well, were look, like, I'll get tased. Like you were just look, right there. Because right I'm all it. about this. <laughs> I'm all in for the info war. If you know who I am, if you know about me, I'm all in, I'm all in for this. I'm not slacking whatsoever. If I got to take a tase, well, so <laughs> be it. But like I said, this money bomb helps us go on these trips. Mm -hmm. It helps fund the operation. It's going to help us reach 400 million people. Think about how many people we're going to wake up with 400 million people turning on their satellite and watching this operation. And you know what? It's going to be live. You're going to get to see Joe Biggs shake on the ground. And it's, and it's going to hurt. <laughs> By now, where, where do I get to tase you? Because I know there's certain points. Like, I don't want to go for the heart or the neck. But. I'm thinking either the gut or the backside because those are two uh, <laughs> plump areas, I guess. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, thinking that I'm definitely I not a, an active duty soldier anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard that it's it, it's more effective if you hit the muscles because it seizes up on the muscles. That's why sometimes if you see a big guy, like a real big guy, if he's, you know, like a, You've really been looking into this, She's talking about effectiveness. You know <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see, like... She's gonna, over here Googling, are like... Are we going to bring the... some pain? Or, you know, because if I hit you in the stomach, you know, you might be able to wriggle yourself out of that Oh, my one. goodness. <laughs> oh, she really looked into the... The only thing I would say, Biggs, is definitely be sure you go to the bathroom. Because I've seen <laughs> taser videos where guys, you know, piss on themselves. I guess say what it is. So, <laughs> well, I'm sure, like, a, a man, hey, man like Joe Biggs would never do that. Negative. <laughs> You know, I'm I, I'm but gonna take it like live. a man, and guess what? This is it'll for feminism, live. right? This yeah. is for feminism. Hashtag feminism. Hashtag don't tase me, bro, yeah. but tase me this because is real hashtag feminism. Joe Biggs. Now, Joe Biggs, <laughs> I, you're looking like the most interesting man in the world over there with your with your beard and your gun, and I think you're actually probably going to be in the running for that with all the stuff you do uh, <laughs> out there protest. Well, not protesting, but you went to the Trump event. You've been shot with rubber bullets, tear gassed. Uh, <laughs> ISIS made a video about you. Who can say that? Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely been an interesting ride. I've been here for about a year and a half now. Never 10 years ago when I was sitting on the, the hood of my Humvee in Iraq outside of Baghdad watching that place, you know, just go to, to just the craziness. And I was sitting there laying thinking I would never make it out of that deployment. Did I ever think that, you know, 10, 12 years down the road that I get a call from a guy named Alex Jones and give me the, the greatest present anyone could ever ask for, this opportunity to come out here and work with Leanne McAdoo and the infamous Jakari Jackson and Darren McBreen and many others, Joe Jennings. It's just been one hell of a ride. That's all I can say. And I'm amped up and I'm ready for this and I can't wait. Now, <laughs> before we let you go, Joe, you have a segment coming on at what time? Uh, I will be on for three hours from 1 to 4 a.m. Uh, from the first 30 minutes, Darren McBreen and I will be talking to Larry Pinkney. Uh, he's going to uh, ride a uh, lead on that one. Then I'm going to take over. I'll talk about some veteran issues, things like that. And then that last hour, I'm going to speak to uh, Ryan Smith of Armed Citizens United and then two really big uh, YouTube personalities for Second Amendment stuff, Tack Daddy and Schwell. So these guys will be talking to me about Second Amendment things, different stories that have to do with guns across the country and the world. And we're going to answer people's calls, get their opinion on what's going on, what we can do, and just, you know, have a good conversation. So it should be awesome. Well, I'm actually looking forward to, to checking this thing out, the Joe Big Show. I know. I've been really enjoying this. Like, it's so exciting. It's like we're having a slumber party. All our best friends. Except there's no sleeping at <laughs> all for 28 hours. It's just straight up amped up energy. I'm so amped up. I'm and, just ready for it. I guess I'll tase you if, you if he catches you sleeping. <laughs> and all that's going to do is just going to amp me up even more. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, yeah, Joe. Yeah, you're thanks. definitely literally hey, going to get amped hey, And don't forget, man, get this one of a kind. Get your chance. You've got to try and get this. This is an amazing rifle for that price. Signed by Alex Jones. That is awesome. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Thank Roger. You. All right. Yeah. And there goes Joe Biggs. And don't forget to check out his segment, 
later on, I guess it's going to be tomorrow, uh, early tomorrow morning, where you can watch the Joe Big Show. Yeah, well, for our viewers and listeners overseas, though, that'll be perfect timing for them. Yes. So. And don't forget, later on, uh, like I said, we're going to do the debate coverage coming up here in the next 20 or so minutes. But uh, don't forget, you have Rob Dew, uh, Paul Joseph Watson, Kit Daniels, Mikhail Thelen. Uh, who else? Am I, I'm pretty sure I'm missing a bunch of people. Darren McBreen. Uh, pretty much any and everybody is going to be on air. At did you say point. Watson? Yes, yeah, I Watson. Okay. Oh, I, or at least I think I did. Uh. Paul, jo Paul Joseph Watson. Paul Joseph Watson. You can't forget about him. He's going to be <laughs> on. So you guys can uh, check your local listings and see when everybody, your favorite people are going to be on air. So now with the time we have, let's go ahead and take a few calls. Sure. And get the phone number out. The call in is 512-646-1776. Once again, the number to call in, 512-646-1776. And we will take your calls ahead of us going to the other studio to cover the debates. So in the meantime, Liam, uh, what do you think about the uh, the landscape? I'm just going to put it out there. At, at this point, nobody really impresses me. You know, of course, you know, Rand's out there talking about some good stuff, as is Ted Cruz, but it's more of a kind of beauty pageant. Right. Uh, it's like they don't want to reveal too much about any of their policies because then everyone's going to spend their time picking them apart. So they don't they don't tell too much this early in the game. So I can kind of understand people are like, well, where's the policies? Where do you stand on the issues? Because then if they put themselves out there too fast, but that's sort of the problem I have with the fact that they start campaigning a year or two ahead of the game because then they're not really revealing anything. They're just trying to raise money and, and just say whatever they need to say. Well, I guess that Look at is those phones kind of lit up. Yeah. Well, let's not waste any more time. We have Kevin in Colorado. Kevin, you are on the air. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes. yes, we can. Awesome. It's so cool. I'm on the air. Uh, <laughs> it's nice to meet you guys. Um, I just got to say to Leanne, um, I got to give you your props. It's awesome. You're like the, <laughs> one of the only female that's out here, you know, doing what you do and a great reporter. And uh, to Jakari, too, you're awesome. You guys do oh, a great you. job. Thank um, you. Uh, I did want to point out, though, I heard a few callers uh, trying to call out about this. Um, like a few times before with Alex, but um, he has a very strong personality, so sometimes he'll cut him off. But, um, you know, we uh, everything with Hillary, and we got the debate coming up, which uh, is exciting. But, um, you know, all this stuff with them, uh, I heard a lot of people bring up the the fact that, that these people, um, including the Bilderberg Group, are real involved with, with um with you know conspiracies and ba basically a lot of alien conspiracies and i just wanted to uh, throw a tip out there and you guys should really uh, dig a little deeper and do a little bit more research research out there because there is a lot of information about um alien theories that that you know that these these people um the government the shadow government is basically involved with you know there's all kind of uh Theories about interdimensional beings that these people are some kind of reptilians. I mean, all kinds of things and you know rituals that go on mm -hmm. underneath the royal palace. You know, there's a lot. Right. Um, and I heard you guys bring out a few. Um, Y'all talked about that a few times, but I just wanted to you know throw it, you know throw it out there and uh, just tell y'all y'all one of y'all reporters now that we're stepping up to a new plate, um, going onto the satellites. Uh, y'all should. Set goals for yourself and, you know, dig a little deeper in that and uh, get a little bit more involved. There's a lot of, like, UFO activity, especially living yeah, out here in Colorado. Well, that's kind of my thing. I love that kind of stuff. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I really, I'm into that stuff. So I'm definitely your girl on that. We will we will be looking further into that. I'm right there with you. I think there is a lot of really strange and bizarre stuff going on. Absolutely. They're uh, All right. Thank you so the much. unexplainable. Thank you so much, Kevin. Yeah, Leanne is, uh, she likes to talk uh, about the aliens. <laughs> I it's do. Not, it's not really my bag, but uh, <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever. But uh, Kevin, you can definitely look forward to Leanne talking more about that. Let's move Absolutely. on to Robert in Florida. Robert. Hi, Leanne. Hello, Jakari. Can hey you hear there. me okay? Yes, yes, I, we, yes can. we can. Yes. I'm a long-time listener. Uh, I've been trying to get through forever. I listen to Alex during the day, and I'm calling. I know it's kind of busy and stuff, and uh, you guys are awesome. I wish I could be on your team. And, uh, you know, there's no doubt the country's in trouble. Mm. And it, it just seems that the only thing we can do is just sit here and complain 
and talk about it. I mean, the time for talk is over, but, you know, I'm only one person. And I know you guys are having an auction. And, Leanne, I was wondering, uh, can I get an 8 by 10 of you <laughs> autographed? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll be glad to pay uh, good money for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, actually, I was saying something about that yesterday, um, but I don't think we have any pictures of. Oh, him, we can so. take some pictures. Yeah, well, there you go. We'll we'll send you that one. <laughs> he doesn't right want there, that sir. One. Oh, we have we have photographers back hey, there. Hey, if you the if you send in a picture, you can send it in to my attention. I'll sign it and send it back. If you just put uh, put in some return postage, I guess. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Robert. Yeah, Leanne. Hey, people want people That's want some Leanne. Said, they want you know, some framed. I'm we can. We got printers. And we still have there. the Infowars, the the centerfold from the Infowars magazine. I don't. Yeah, know if maybe we, we can have send any that. Of those laying around. Yeah, I don't know if we. I'm pretty sure we have some laying back there. Maybe <laughs> we can autograph one of those and put that in the auction block. Thank you, Robert. Is that Lad in Texas? It is. All right. How are you doing, Lad? I'm doing okay. Can you hear me fine? Yes, we can. Look, I just wanted to say to Leanne and Jakari, uh, I came by the studio a few weeks ago. Uh, I came back. I came twice actually, and I and, it, and I. Well, sir. Off. Well, sir. Uh, we definitely, uh, as Alex says, so coming to the studio isn't exactly the best thing to do. We definitely appreciate anybody who wants to send stuff in, and you can check out all that information for the PL box on the main page. Thank you for uh, calling, lad. Let's move on to Corey in Georgia. Hello. Yes. Hey there. Hi. How y'all doing? Doing very good. Yeah, I was just uh, going to call in about the elections and, and the total fraud that, that the elections are. I'm sorry, I, I maybe I, less, I lost you there, Corey. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes, go, go ahead. ahead. Okay, uh, yeah, I was just going to call in and, and talk about how the elections are just total fraud mm -hmm. and the billions that these people raise and, like, Hillary, she... She's over here under investigation, multiple investigations, and she's still in the running to be president. Mm -hmm. It's just absolutely ridiculous to and, what our country is. And become. more to that, Corey, uh, we actually have a documentary by uh, Larry Nichols. He is a Clinton insider. He used to work for the Clinton uh, campaign years ago, back when uh, Bill was governor. And uh, that's going to premiere later on in the evening, along with an interview from Larry Nichols. So it's a great report. Uh, cut by uh, Joshua Owens. Yeah, he wants to blow that wide open. Yeah, so he definitely, it's ridiculous too. definitely, if that's something that's interesting to you, Corey, stay tuned, and you'll be able to see all that. I think later that's coming on. up at about ten, ten thirty tonight. Or yeah, around ten. We're gonna try to move through these calls pretty quick because we only got about five or six minutes left. Let's go to Harry in New Jersey. Hello, how are you? Very well. Uh, listen, I'm an Air Force vet, and my opinion on Donald Trump in this election: Donald Trump is basically an actor. That's what he does. Yeah, he's His an entertainer. Is, he's, he is an entertainer, yeah. yes. Exactly. And he probably already has knowledge on how this is going to end because, you know, everything the actors do is with a script. So I don't really believe there will be an actual election. I think there will be martial law before this election is over. Donald Trump will say his favorite things, is, I told you so, and you're fired, and whatever else he <laughs> likes to say. Loser. And that's what yeah, he likes. Loser. <laughs> it's average, you're all stupid. <laughs> he, he'll be able to say his favorite thing, his favorite line. He'll have some kind of line that um, Bilderberg has lined up for him because he's one of the richest uh, guys out there. Oh, yeah. He's and, probably already hedged his bets on any a, a number of all the different candidates. If he wins, if Hillary wins, if, you know, Jeb yeah, wins. He's, he's a businessman. He's, he's like, whoever said. wins, they're still going to be partners. They're still going to be working together. Mm -hmm. He's already paid them all off. And you're right about that. And, and to, to, to just even push that how politicians are entertainers, Arnold Schwarzenegger, former governor of California, is now going to be hosting... Uh, I guess in Trump's the, uh, place. Apprentice. Yeah. So. All right, well, <laughs> there thank you, you go. so much for calling, Harry. We're trying to get through some more of these calls. We have James in Seattle. Go ahead, James. Wow, that was quick. Can you just screen me? God bless you guys. Book of Revelations is unfolding. That's all I want to tell you. Get ready. This ain't no game. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you know, uh, people who uh, always actually, I'm looking at it on the screen right now. Christians, the most persecuted faith. Um, yeah, it, it looks like these people are trying to use the book of Revelations as some type of instructional booklet. Right. And, uh, or at least a, to make everyone think that the time is near because all these things are unfolding. 
Yeah, and it, it's kind of like what Alex talks about. You know, they get people scared to the point where they're like, well, you know, it's the end times. So I'm just going to sit here and die. And, uh, exactly. <laughs>